Today we are working on a fretboard, or a fingerboard, um, and it's got dots in it that need to be sanded down. Now the problem I have is this is this fretboard is a 12 inch radius, and I want to make it a 14 radius. So I got a 12 inch radius block, but I don't got a 14 radius block. So, and the reason I got to make it a 14 radius is it's got a locking nut on, and the nut is, a four, is set to a 14 radius, so I got to match the fretboard to the nut. Otherwise, I would just match the nut to the fretboard and be done with it. But with the locking nut, you really can't do that. So we're going to have to make a 14-inch radius block. So we're going to use the dimensions of this block here. Cut a piece of basically 2 by 4 for these dimensions. And then we're going to go ahead and cut a 14 radius into the bottom side of it. So we can then take it over and sand this fretboard smooth to a 14-inch radius. I went ahead and cut a piece of 2x4 and I cut it to this, basically the same width and the same thickness. It's a little bit, this one's a little bit thicker, but that ain't going to matter. And, but I did cut a little bit longer, so I have, while I'm uh, routing my radius in the bottom of this, I have somewhere to put a clamp to hold this down, because if I don't clamp it down, it's going to get flying across the room or something. So we cut a little bit longer, we'll radius the whole thing, then we'll come back and cut it like 8 or 9 inches, something like that. So this is going to be our 14 inch radius block right here. So now we've got to go ahead and figure out a jig on which we can place a router to go ahead and cut a 14 inch radius into this piece of pine. I'm at my router table and I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of pine as my base. And what I'm going to do is I'll drill a hole in here and this will be, and I'll go ahead and hook my router to this and this will be my swinging action it'll give me my 14 inch radius so if we come over and check this router bit right here it's sticking out basically an inch and a half um it's about a 16th over but we'll move that back to get it exactly at one and a half inches so now what we're going to do is this router is going to sit on the edge of the wood like that so it's gonna be flush right here so we're gonna have to measure back to get a 14 radius we're gonna measure back 12 and a half inches back this way and drill a hole at 12 and a half inches here and then if you measure from the, the point that it pivots to here will be 12 and a half and then the inch and a half of the router bit will give you your 14 inch radius so I went back through and marked a line at 12 and a half inches centered it up and then drilled a quarter inch hole in the center of it. I'm going to take this bolt here, slide it in, and now that'll be our pivoting point to make our um, 14 radius. So now we're going to go ahead and drill a hole probably in this table, I'd imagine. Slide this down inside there and then that'll pivot on there like that. My router bit or my router will go on here and my other board will be clamped down here and it'll give me my 14 radius. So we're going to drill a hole in the table here and then we're going to go ahead and um, mount this router to this board right here. As you can see here, I got a quarter inch piece of MDF and what I did is I took this plastic cover off the bottom of the router and then used my three holes, lined it up on here where I wanted it to go and then pre-drilled three screw holes and then screwed this to the bottom of my router. Now if we look at the side here, you can see down here where the 2x4 here meets the MDF base here. And now we're going to go ahead and screw this MDF to this piece of plywood. And then once we get that screwed on there, then basically our swing arm is done. And now we can go ahead and, and double check our measurement from the bolt to the edge of the MDF and then from the MDF 
and set our router bit so it comes up to be 14 inches from the edge of the router bit to the center of the hole there. We got our base plate mounted to the router. We got the base and we got it mounted to the 2x4 itself. And now, as you can see, I got it screwed on, the router bit's on. Everything is good to go. So now, um, what we got going on is this was on the router originally, so I took this off. This is just under a quarter of an inch thick. This piece of MDF is measuring just a smidgen over a quarter inch thick. So I'm going to be off by like a sixteenth of an inch from my line here to the edge of the router bit. So what we're going to do is measure from here, like I said before, to here, then adjust our router bit to get the exact 14 inches down here. And now that all this is done, now we got to work on um, mounting this to the table so it'll swing and then going ahead and, and clamping our block in and getting ready to route that radius into the radius block. So I took my ruler and I got it flush with the front of my base here. I got it running the whole length of the board. And if we come back to here, there's our center line there of where our swing arm is going to be. I take a straight edge, come down through. And as you can see right there, we are at 12 and 3 quarters of an inch. So we need to be 14 inches and we're 12 and 3 quarters. So that means we got to come back up here to this router bit and measure so the router bit from the base here to the front of the router bit is one and a quarter inches. If it's one and a quarter from there and then 12 and three quarters from there, that'll put that from this point here to the edge of the router bit at 14 inches, which will give us our 14 um, inch radius. I'm on my workbench and I drilled a quarter inch hole in my workbench and what I'm going to do is I got this clamp here. I'm going to clamp my radius block into the clamp and then I got my router set up to where this thing is going to swing. It's bolted in so it swings like this. And now I can center this thing up, center this thing slide it up and down inside my, my um, clamp, make a pass, move it up, make a pass, move it up, make a pass until I get it routed the whole way through. So I went ahead and made my first pass on my block here. And now what I'm going to do is take this 14 inch radius gauge. I'm going to lay it on my block just to see if I got a 14 radius and I do. So we're good to go. So now we got that. We're just gonna continue to raise this board up a little bit of the time and make a pass, raise it up, make a pass until we get probably eight or nine inches of this thing radius. And at that point we can cut it off and we got ourselves a 14 inch radius block. All right, so that's gonna do it. We got our 14 inch radius block that we needed. Um, once you get done with this, once you get done routing it, you're gonna have small router lines in here. You just come back with a piece of sandpaper, sand them smooth, and you should be good to go. So um, I got some fretboards here I didn't sand it down, so I'm gonna get sanded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.